If you haven't already, download the SCP Containment Breach Multiplayer Dedicated Server Tool. This tutorial assumes you already know how to set up port forwarding, so if you don't know how to do that, I'll link a separate tutorial. Anyways, now that that's done, log into your router and open port 50021. Now, go to the website, whatsmyipaddress.com, link in the description, and this is the IP that you and your friends, or whoever, will use to connect to your server. Now to change your server settings, browse to the local game files. To do that, click on the cog in the library page and click browse local files. You're looking for the server.cfg file. Open it in the text editor of your choice, I'll be using Notepad++. Here are the settings for your server. The ones that you'll probably be using are hostname, which is the name of your server, no cheat, which disables and enables cheats, and breach. This is the SCP secret lab type game mode. Oh, but what if you want to change the map seed? Well, you can actually do that. You just have to add map seed to the server.cft file. Anywhere will work. If you want to know some good seeds, the ones that I usually use in single player are fuel gaming and key cards are cool. To connect to the server, you will need the IP from earlier and the port, which like stated is 50,021 by default and you will need to put this in the direct connect option. Why there isn't a non-official server list, I don't know. Maybe they'll add it in the next update. Some issues that I've had with multiplayer is when someone dies a few times, they'll get disconnected from the server. Have fun and don't die. All right, they're walking back. Let's do this shit. Oh, hell yeah, Agent Ogren, my man. Oh my God, I got killed. <laughs> God, I love how your fucking mistakes got my ass killed.